Good morning. This is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit. And we're continuing our series of daily morning meditations where we generally look at one or another of the lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer, what is known as the daily office lectionary. Uh, and it's been a little bit interesting the last couple of weeks because uh, beginning back at Christmas time, we haven't really been following very sequentially through the lessons uh, during the course of the week. Uh, we did go through a way through St. John's uh, first epistle. Um, however, there's been a lot of bouncing back and forth during these holiday seasons and after, right after Epiphany. Uh, and we will get back on track with the regular sequential reading of Old Testament epistles and gospels beginning on Monday, right? Because this Sunday is the first Sunday after Epiphany and we get a bit more into a, uh, more of a flow of a calendar for a couple of weeks in Epiphany Tide uh, and then we'll get into the Jessima Sundays. Uh, today I thought we would take a look at the reading that's assigned for evening prayer from the book of the Acts of the Apostles. Now, if you remember, if you've been following along with this series, we did the book of the Acts of the Apostles sequentially way back at the end of the spring, beginning of the summer, uh, as we looked at the birth of the church and the early history of the church. Uh, but today's lesson's assigned, we jump back in, uh, and it's the end of the, of the particular Acts of the Apostles, the 28th chapter, beginning at the 23rd verse. And when they had pointed him a day, there came many to him into his uh, lodging, to whom he expounded and testified the kingdom of God, persuading them concerning Jesus, both out of the law of Moses and out of the prophets from morning until evening. And some believed the things which were spoken, and some believed not. And when they agreed not among themselves, they departed after that. Paul had spoken one word, well, spake the Holy Ghost by Esaias, the prophet unto our fathers, saying, go unto this people and say, hearing ye shall hear, and shall not understand, and seeing ye shall see, and not perceive. For the heart of this people is waxed gross, and their ears are dull of hearing, and their eyes have they closed, lest they should see their eyes, and hear with their ears, and understand with their heart, and should be converted, and should not heal, and, sh and I should heal them. Be it known therefore unto you that the salvation of God is sent unto the Gentiles, and that they will hear it. And when he had said these things, the Jews departed and had great reasoning among themselves. And Paul dwelt two whole years in his own hired house and received all that came in unto him, preaching the kingdom of God and teaching those things which were concerning the Lord Jesus Christ with all confidence, no man forbidding him. So, so Paul is in Rome. He's finally made it to Rome. It's been his desire all throughout, and he will eventually die there in Rome at the sword. Uh, he will be put to death. But the, the author of Acts of the Apostles, Luke, is trying to drive home this big reality of what the ministry of Paul would end up looking like, and that is that he ends up being known primarily as the great apostle to the Gentiles. Yes, he absolutely wants to bring all the Jews to a saving knowledge of God and Jesus Christ, but as he points out at the end of the Acts of the Apostles, many of their hearts have been hardened, just as the a Gentile, the pagan hearts, are also hardened against hearing the good news of God. Uh, it's a particular sorrow for Paul, uh, as well as it is a sorrow for the church, that in fact Jesus Christ, who came to fulfill God's promise to the original people, the people of the original covenant, that many of them have not accepted Jesus Christ as their savior, uh, when he is most certainly that. He is the savior to Jew and to, Jew, to Gentile. And so as you hear, Paul is testifying teaching out of the Old Testament uh, using Moses, right? The first five books of the Bible, the Pentateuch are known as the books of Moses, as well as the prophets, because they attest to Jesus Christ. He is the fulfillment of God's promise to send a savior. And of course, we also know that he is in fact God himself, the second person of the Holy Trinity. So it is certainly our work as members of the body of Christ to continue to witness to the truth, right? And whether those hearers are, are believers or are not, uh, we just need to keep loving and keep preaching and teaching the truth. I mean, the reality is, is there's lots of people who claim the title Christian who have moved away from the practice of the faith. I know I did that for a period of time in my life uh, when I was early on in college, right? And then, but God was merciful, uh, and as soon as I let down my guard, boom, God the Holy Spirit got to work on me 
and, uh, and I was back into the fold. And look at me now. So the hearts get hardened, people move away, and, and we can love them uh, and pray for them. Uh, and, and God, the Holy Spirit, does all the good work, the hard work of converting them. But we cannot stop witnessing. We cannot stop praying. We cannot stop hoping, whether they be believers, whether they be Jews, whether they be Gentiles, it doesn't matter. All are called to salvation in Jesus Christ. Hey, it's Saturday, uh, which means we start our weekend worship this evening. Uh, we're still under this 10 person, uh, the nine people plus the priest rule for our services. So we're still on our extended number of service schedules. Uh, Saturday night service, three o'clock, four o'clock, five o'clock. Uh, and then on Sunday, we have services uh, scheduled for uh, eight o'clock, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, 10.30, 11.30, and then evening prayer at five o'clock. So there's plenty of opportunities for you to come and worship to glorify God. and most importantly, to receive the Blessed Sacrament. Make sure you go to our parish website, stjohnsdetroit.org. Find that clickable link. It'll take you to Sign Up Genius and sign up to be one of the folks at one of our many services. Uh, I hope you have a fantastic Saturday. May God bless you.